And I'm thinking Victoria's a ring girl, and that's um, maybe how they met. Do you possibly. Think? So, how's your week been? Different. Great chat. There wasn't too much conversation with the butlers. Um, one was offered crisps, but uh, there was a danger of turning around that one may have been offered nuts. <laughs> Moving swiftly on, it's Brian's big moment. This is an absolute nightmare. It's ready, I think. Oh, wow. Right, and when, when they come in, you know, don't see it. Uh, is it bread okay? I'll let them decide, you know, they may get away with it. Nobody oh, might say anything. Okay, yeah. yeah, you might. Here it is, lentil soup with homemade, um... It's bread, Andrew, that. Well, it's meant to be. So, dig in. <laughs> <laughs> Warm buns. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> There's been a few of those this evening, yeah. <laughs> what does everybody think of the soup, then? So, I'm going to be honest. I personally hate lentils. So you don't want seconds. So, so absolutely, <laughs> I'll pass on seconds. And for me, the bread, it's a little bit undercooked. Ah. It was probably the worst bread roll I had in my whole life. Still, at least you had the soup. It was a little bit of water with some orange stuffing and some leeks. Oh. It didn't compete with last night's starter. It was basically just sort of vegetables and warm water. Back with the group and they're discussing the photos they found earlier. At the weekend, I work as a, a ring girl slash hostess in nightclubs as well. Oh, so... So is that how you guys met? Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. Uh, it's yeah. a funny story. And Victoria had swapped social medias. So during the week, I'm flicking through my social media and I see that Victoria is playing... Oh, God, I remember this story. <laughs> Victoria is playing Twister with her, with her friends. So I thought, I'm going to chance my arm here. And I, I wrote to her and I says, do you want to go over to mine to play Naked Twister? <laughs> I was playing hard to get, though, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think Naked Twister is a pretty romantic first date, you know? I would definitely disagree. Naked Twister is not a romantic, romantic first date. Well, it was a real romantic moment for us, but I don't know about round the table. Tell us your best pick-up lines, then. How much does a polar bear weigh? I have no idea. Enough to break the ice, darling. <laughs> 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 that line working for you, Andrew? I think it went down like a polar bear falling through the ice. That'll be a no, then. I think we just might have made it with the starter. Just got away with that. Not sure you did, actually. So our main room for a chance, definitely. After oven baking the Moroccan main, how is it? I think the meatballs are a little bit overcooked, shall we say. Fingers crossed for a moist couscous, then. That's as dry as a bone as well. <laughs> this is going well. Speechless, is it? What oh, to say? Oh, you're speechless. The <laughs> table will be speechless. <laughs> Maybe it'll taste better than it looks. Well, here it is, Moroccan meatballs and couscous. You might want a bit of yoghurt with it. Thank you. Well, dig in, guys. Go on, Andrew, dive in. So, what does, uh, what does everyone think? I love couscous, but maybe some herbs or flavours in okay. the couscous. There was the couscous with no flavour, <laughs> nothing. If I'm absolutely honest with you, how you can fail with couscous, I'm not sure. Well, how were the meatballs? I, I was really <laughs> pleasantly surprised the first bite I took the meatballs. The flavours were amazing. Andrew, what, what do you think of the, the food? I do not like um, spice particularly. So I, I have done my best to try. So I've eaten, I think, three out of the six meals. Did you actually so you, try? So you, yeah. Yes. So you, you? you said you don't like spice or flavour. You definitely like the couscous then, because there's no flavour or... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I will never eat couscous again. Should have had more stuff in it, if I'm honest, Brian. Yeah, what yeah, were you playing at? Uh, I, 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 just, I expected more sauce with the meatballs, so I thought that would just blend in with the couscous. It was bland But, but you, didn't, you didn't set the timer. <laughs> you didn't set the timer in the oven. So. All right, you two. Deep breaths now. At the table, Brian's focus has shifted to one of his guests' attire. I was disappointing you, David. Yesterday, I seen that you, 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 down, you down-dressed. I thought, maybe it's just, it's just a one-off, you know? He sees how we dress. I think he's going to make a real effort. He's going exact to be opposite obvious. reaction. Exact opposite. <laughs> I saw how you guys dressed. I said, I can't match that, so I'm not even going to... Oh, <laughs> thank you very much. No, well, no, I expected more. I expected more. When the subject of how David was dressed came up, I felt a bit awkward. To me, uh, 
being a man isn't about looking good. You know, when someone sits there and starts criticizing my clothes, man, that's something my little sisters do. But see, with the club I used to, when people were wanting to go into the club, I would sort of, you know, judge them a little bit on how they dressed, you know? Mm -hmm. if, they, if they didn't dress well, they weren't going to spend a lot of money in the club, so we don't want to let a certain, mm -hmm. certain clientele in. Well, you're so joking. Cool. I probably wouldn't go you, to your club, you, bro. You, you, you'd, <laughs> you'd be barred. Ultimately, your guest was invited without a dress code and probably in a competition, you don't challenge your guests or make them feel uncomfortable. You're talking historically, dressed and had. Yes. What's, what's the story? What do you mean? You With talked about your, your club. With the club in the middle of saying when the club just now. Not enough clientele. Touche! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, conversation was great over the main course. It was yeah. getting a lot more heated and interesting. and A little bit of yeah. insults getting lobbed back and forth. That's nice. Glad you're having fun. David and Brian, they would, it's feistiness. He just does, he's set in his own ways. Brian's set in his, but he understands Brian's views and Brian doesn't understand anyone's views but his own. So 